Hi, I'm Chris Cooper and this is a short video walkthrough of uh, Motor Cruiser Adrienne uh, which is a 1994 Stevens um, 1040. Now she's fitted with a single um, 100 horsepower Volvo uh, TAMD 31 which is a four cylinder um, diesel engine on a conventional gearbox and um, shaft. Uh, she's a six berth um, boat uh, that's uh, made up with uh, V berths in the forward cabin, um, convertible saloon berth and a double berth in the aft cabin. Um, like a lot of um, Dutch steel boats she has a single um, toilet and shower compartment in the aft end of the boat um, which also has a holding tank. Uh, she's a very smart boat, um, definitely a credit to her owner. Um, the paintwork is near spotless um, all the way around the exterior of the boat. Um, she was repainted in 2006 um, but as you can appreciate it is some time ago and um, I really have to say that she presents uh, extremely well, a very smart and tidy boat. Um, you'll note that uh, that she has a canopy and um, and folding windscreens. Um, the air draft is eight foot seven inches. Uh, boat safety certificate is valid until May 2024. Um, she's quite a high spout boat. She has uh, bow thruster, uh, heating, battery charger, uh, 500 watt inverter, amongst other things. And uh, she's also fitted with uh, Raymarine chart plotter and uh, radar. Um, this video doesn't show the radar in place. It's uh, it's mounted on a stainless steel um, pole uh, on the aft of the um, uh, well on the aft deck. Um, we've uh, we've taken that off and, uh, and 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 put it aside for um, for safekeeping. But uh, um, but if uh, if you would like to see a, a picture of the radar, then we can certainly um, send that to you. Um, all right, let's uh, let's give you a walk around the decks and uh, and take you below. So a little view of the of the side decks here. We've got nice wide side decks all the way around this boat and. I'll give you a slightly closer view of the paintwork and the uh, and the deck pads here. Anchor winch on the bows, some really sturdy, really sturdy cleat points. There's, there's a lot of Dutch steel boats have really. Varnish work on the mast is in really good condition. And we've got nice wide decks again as you walk around the side of the boat. Saloon side door, which is right beside the helm position. And coming up and round the aft end of the boat to the um, upper steering position and, and the cockpit. So it's a half canopy on on the uh, back of the boat here, which uh, which gives you walk around space. Uh, the starboard side of the boat there. So she's got fixed stainless steel davits on the aft end of the boat and a companion wheel ladder down to the bathing platform. Helm position has a single helm seat. Big teak wheel. This is um, fairly common with, uh, with Dutch steel boats and just very basic um, engine instrumentation uh, up here and a bow thruster control. Got quite a nice view down into the saloon of the boat there. You can see the quality of the timber work inside the boat. If you give me a moment, I'll uh, descend the companion my steps and, um, and show you the interior. There's a lot of timber inside a Stevens and uh, and it's all in very very good condition. Teak and holly floor was uh, laid by the current owner and again he's done a very very good job of, uh, of doing that. It looks like it's always been there. Uh, so the arrangement in uh, in this boat has a double berth and an owner's cabin aft and uh, had a um, a saloon, fixed saloon seat uh, in the upper upper saloon area. Uh, helm position on the port side. You can see the um, the big Raymarine plotter there, and uh, a side door 
on the port side of the boat, it's just behind the helms when there's a nice set of steps that um, that lead up and out onto the onto the side decks if you're using that as a as a door. And then we've got um, we've got a dinette um, on the lower level um, opposite uh, galley, and uh, and that dinette the table drops into the gap um, and an infill cushion sits on top to um, to make another double berth. And then forward of that we have a um, a forward cabin with um, V berths, and you can see the infill cushion there that fits into the into the gap that turns that into um, into a double berth. It's a big it's a big double berth that actually, um, and when you look the linings all around here are in very good condition. Um, there there really are very few um, marks or blemishes on the boat in any way shape or form it's a slightly more detailed view of the um, the galley here and the galley equipment so we've got a um, a small double oven there but uh, well an oven and grill I should say um, and then there's a three burner hob above it which again is in really good condition. I think that's an original thing. I think they all are original things actually, but uh, but again in 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 very in very good order. So single sink and uh, and a and a and a drainer there or, or or a worktop space if you if you remove the drainer of course and then a three way fridge, gas and uh, and electric 12 volt or 240 volt. So oh, aft cabin here and that has a double berth on the starboard side of the boat again you see the timber linings in here all in very good condition nice brass brass lights there or reading lights on the boat and then we've got a uh, a full length mirror on the port side of the aft cabin and then lots of um, hanging locker space in here. Port side of the boat is your toilet and shower compartment that's um, underneath the um, underneath the companionway steps actually if I just pan back a little bit then uh, you can see the companionway steps there and if you if you look around then we've got the toilet compartment so so we've got a nice um, sink a sink unit there with a with a big mirror behind it uh, that's your shower and, and shower head fitting and the shower tray is um, a tiled out um, tray in the bottom of the compartment and, uh, and then we've got a um, Jabsco uh, manual pump toilet which is just in the forward end of the compartment. It's quite a big uh, toilet compartment. This actually, uh, a good, a good size space. But then it is the only toilet compartment on the boat, I suppose. But uh, but I don't think you or your guests would complain. So helm position here on the port side of the of the boat it gives a good. Um, a good field of vision, actually. Uh, if you uh, if you did use the boat at sea, then I think this was this would be quite a, a comfortable, um, you know, main position to helm from. Certainly, the navigation kit is down here. So um, even if you were sitting up on the off deck, I think uh, I think every now and again you'd be uh, you'd be down here just keeping an eye on things. So you can see the big Raymarine plotter there, and uh, we've got speed and depth logs. Uh, there's an ICOM um, DSC VHF there, and uh, bow thruster control and uh, engine instrumentation there. So it's a pretty standard Volvo um, engine instrumentation panel. Nice big teak wheel again, which is very typical of the Dutch boats. Actually, I will just point this out. Um, just a level of detail that shows the care that's been taken. Um, by the owner over this boat, so um, he has um, made and fitted um, condensation um, catching 
trays which uh, which get placed under the um, under the Ford cabin window. So it's um, it's very unusual for a uh, for an owner to go to that sort of level of of, um, of detail when they're um, they're looking after the boat. And it's just uh, it's a really good way of emphasising just how well this boat has been cared for. Um, the owner is uh, is a very experienced um, boat owner and. Uh, and very capable of maintaining the boat, and he has done. It's in uh, it's in really good condition all the way around. Uh, so here's a view of the engine compartment. Got a relatively new chlorophyll fitted there. Quite a large diesel heating unit. Uh, a D3. This is the boat's weed filter, nice and easy to get get to, and also you'll note the fuel filter there on the port side of the compartment. Engine oil under the hatch here too. Be a very easy boat to uh, to maintain this. Very easy to get to everything. And much like the rest of the boat, it all looks to be in very clean, well presented condition. See a little view of the aft end of Adrian Stevens 1140. See the davits hanging there, and the transom and the bathing platform. A view down the side deck there. Very nice boat.